Stephanie, as a former HBCU alum, what does this moment mean and to see for especially the NBA to host its first ever HBCU Classic? It's been an amazing experience. I mean, I'm just so thrilled to be a part of it, to be present today. Um, and of course, a little bit of me is a little upset that Coppin State is not out there and I'm having to say nice things about both Morgan and Howard. But truthfully, I mean, this is an amazing day. I think it's giving people who don't have this opportunity to have this experience a glimpse into why HBCUs are so special. And you're part of the broadcast. What do you hope people who are at home watching get from the HBCU Classic? Well, I hope they understand that, you know, of course there's basketball involved, mm -hmm. but there's a whole culture when you go to an HBCU, a whole experience. When you see these bands here in this building, both Howard and Morgan did a great job bringing their bands, their dance teams. It is an experience when you go to a game. The basketball's awesome, yeah. don't get me wrong, but it's, it's great because there's so much more to it. It's a party in here, and I'm hoping that that shows on television. I'm so happy that we're across three networks. I think it's amazing. You said a party. How are you containing yourself from not partying <laughs> when you hear the band, the DJ, and having a cheer off? I'm not. Um, I'm doing a lot of chair dancing at the desk. Um, it's just, it's been so fun. And I, I have to say, I got a little choked up in the beginning because this is the kind of thing that when I was a student athlete at Coppin State, I never thought that you would see something like this sponsored with the NBA, three national networks collaborating together to put them on television. I mean, this is amazing. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Absolutely. Anytime.